Hi, everyone. Before we get started, this is Lori from Kid Made Modern. I just want to introduce our friend Tessa from Studio Jane. If you've been in one of our Michaels classes with Kid Made Modern before, you've met Tessa, I'm sure. Um, just a heads up, I will be the moderator during the class. So if you have any questions, like Raina said, put them in the Q&A and I'll be the one uh, calling out the questions to Tessa. All right, Tessa, go right ahead. Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you to Kid Made Modern and Michaels for having me. I'm excited to craft with all of you. We are going to be making some very fun little lacing friends. So we're gonna practice our lacing skills and cutting skills and make these adorable little buddies. So we're gonna use a few different materials to make your little friends. Um, you can make them any way you want. So definitely you can get creative and make all sorts of little shapes and faces. Um, so we're not using templates for these. So we're just gonna draw our own little funny um, amoeba shapes and make them each unique. So I'm gonna go through all of our supplies first and then we'll get started. Um, so you probably already have all these in front of you, but if not, you can run around and grab them all. We're going to be using some construction paper, first of all. Um, and I just have some little scraps here even of um, from previous projects. So you can use um, whatever color papers that you want. You could also use um, notebook paper or computer paper if you wanted, even a paper plate or um, a paper bag from the grocery store, anything like that would work. Um, we're not painting ours, but you could definitely paint them or color them afterwards. So if you just have white paper, you could paint them or color them. Um, then we're going to be using a hole punch. So this is going to be the um, tool that maybe you haven't used before, or if you don't have it in front of you, then you can grab. Um, if you don't have a hole punch, I'll show you guys how to cut little holes with scissors as well. Um, but definitely a hole punch is going to be how we create all of these fun little lacing shapes. And then we're going to be using embroidery thread. So all of our embroidery thread is from our Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. Um, you can use any colors that you want. I just pulled a few colors from my library. Um, you can also use fuzzy sticks. So these are also from the Arts and Crafts Library. Um, you might know them as pipe cleaners. We call them fuzzy sticks at Kid Made Modern. So we're gonna be using some of these to do lacing around the edges as well. Um, then you're going to need some googly eyes. So I have a whole little bowl here of googly eyes um, and then some little felt strips. So I've got a couple different little colors here of felt strips. Again, these are all from the Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. And those are going to be to create little elements like noses or mouths. Um, if you want to add any accessories, whether it's hair or um, other fun little details to your little creep creatures here, then you can use felt details. And then we'll be using a pair of scissors and either glue dots, I have a roll of glue dots here or some white glue, either of those will work. And I think that's everything you're gonna need today. Um, I'm gonna flip my camera around so you guys can see what my hands are doing and we'll get started. Okay. And as I know, Lori and Raina already said, if you guys have any questions, definitely throw them in. If you have questions on the supplies I just went over um, or anything like that, just let us know and we will be able to give you maybe some different suggestions or offer some other inspiration so you guys can craft along with us. All right, so our first step here, we're gonna make a couple of these little friends today. And our first step is going to be to draw which I did not mention, you're gonna need a pencil or a pen. Um, you can definitely freehand cut something so you don't have to draw a shape if you don't want to. Um, but if you want to draw a shape, then grab a pencil or a pen to do that. So with a pencil, I'm just going to kind of draw an abstract shape. And by abstract, it just doesn't have a specific form. I'm not trying to make it look like anything in particular, just kind of a little blob. You can make these as big or as small as you want. So this is probably um, about four or five inches um, from top to bottom. You can make a really big one if you want. Um, you would need more material to lace all the edges, but you can definitely make them any size that you want. Or you can make them really tiny if you want to. Um, so draw a couple of shapes here. So you can also draw if you want to make a kitty face or a doggy face. Um, or anything like that, you can draw a specific shape if you want to, or you can just draw some fun little blobs like we did here. 
Okay, Tessa, just a couple questions while you're drawing your second shape. Uh, they're asking, can they use colored foam on this project? Um, yeah, you should be able to use colored foam. It might be a little bit harder to hole punch. Um, you just want to make sure that if you are doing the lacing portion, then you're going to want to make sure that it fits in your hole punch. So your hole punch here does have a pretty decent little space. So as long as your material fits in that hole punch, then you can definitely use that. Awesome. And then um, Ava is asking, she doesn't have googly eyes. So what else could she use for that? Yeah, you could totally use um, extra paper or felt. So um, like on this little one here, even though I used googly eyes, all these other details are just little felt that we're going to cut and glue on. So you could cut out felt eyes or just paper eyes. And you could draw draw little um, pupils in it if you want to, or just draw um, or just draw a face on your paper entirely. You don't need any extra little details if you just want to draw or paint on a face. Um, even this one here used a little fuzzy stick for a mouth, so you could do little um, fuzzy stick eyes as well, rather little bend it into a little circle, or you could just do two little pieces to be. Um, sort of represent two little eyes. All right, so once you draw a shape or two here, we're going to cut these out. And I'm using these little green scissors that are from the Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library as well, which is great that it comes with a couple of the tools that you need also for most crafts. Um, so even if you're using the felt, I'm using these same scissors for everything. So if you feel like you might not have the right scissors for some materials, um, these ones will actually be just fine for felt or cutting fuzzy sticks. I'm just kind of cutting some funny little shapes here. Again, you can make them uh, any size that you want. The bigger you make it, the more holes um, or space in between your holes you'll have to lace. So if you want to have a lot of little lacing details around the edges, then you can make it bigger. Um, but you can also just hole punch them further apart. And we're going to show you how to do all of those steps. So we're going to go through all the steps to do a couple of these. Um, we can make more if we have more time, but I want to make sure we go through all the steps to do at least these two here, though. Okay, so you can see I now have two kind of funny little blob shapes, almost look like little water puddles. Um, so once you have your shape here, you're going to go ahead and take your hole punch and cut around the edges. So to use my hole punch, it has the little punchy part that actually makes the hole. And then there's the hole at the bottom here. And then there's this little piece that kind of moves in the middle. And you want to make sure your paper goes underneath that little piece in the middle and underneath that little, uh, this little circular portion in the center. And then I'm just going to squeeze the handle and make a little hole. So once you create a couple holes, it's really easy. Just go around the edges of your whole little shape. And I'm leaving about a half an inch or so in between. But you can definitely leave as much or as little space in between as you want. There's also a different size hole punches. So your hole punch might be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller than mine. So now you see the whole little border all the way around there has holes all the way around. Another option, if you don't have a hole punch today, um, I can show you how to cut a little um, hole with your scissors. So using your little shape, you can bend the paper and then you can cut a little hole. So that's going to just create a little slit. You could bend it the other way 
been cut on top of that as well. That's what they're asking. Are there holes for the laces that we're making? Yes, so the holes are for the lacing. So all the way around here, you can see um, all the little yellow is going to thread into those holes. So all of these have little holes that then using either fuzzy sticks or thread, we're going to lace in, in and out of each of the little holes. So again, you can make as many or as few as you want. And again, you can use uh, little scissors as well to bin the paper and then cut a little slit. And then that way you'll be able to push your fuzzy stick through that little slit, just like you would a hole punch. That's another option. If you don't have a hole punch today, then you can do that as well. Um, so either way will work. And once you go ahead and cut out your shape, and then I'm gonna cut out one more shape here as well. You can hole punch all the way around it. And so I'm going to do my holes a little further apart so you can see compared to one another. This one has about double the space in between. That's just going to give you more space in between where your laces are showing. So this is what some your shape should look like at this stage. So you might have, again, a different yours is definitely going to be a different color, a different shape. Um, if you drew a certain shape, let us know whether it's a heart or a star or a kitty. Um, or if you're using a certain color, definitely let us know in that Q&A so we can hear what you guys are making at home. All right, so once you have these all hole punched, then we're going to use our thread to lace it. And again, you can use any color that you want. I'm gonna use orange on this little light blue one. And I'm going to pull a couple feet of thread and cut it off. And I'm gonna take one end of my thread and I'm going to push it through a hole. You can pick any starting point. It's totally up to you. Um, you're going to go all the way around, so it doesn't matter where you start. And I'm going to tie a knot onto the edge. I'm going to tie a little double knot. So I'm going to cross over my pieces of thread here and then loop it around, pull that little tail through. And then you can cut off a little extra. All right, so now that your thread is tied on to your little shape, then we're gonna take the opposite end of our thread and we're going to go down into the next hole and pull our thread all the way. So you can start to see it on top there. And now it's gonna be on the other side. So we can flip this over and then go up through the next hole. So you wanna go back and forth from the top to the bottom to create this little stitched look. So you wanna make sure you're going down to the next hole each time so that you don't just Pull your thread out from where you came. And we're just gonna do the same thing all the way around your shape. So this is where if you have a really big shape, it might take you a little longer. Or if you have a really tiny shape, then you might already be done. And you can go around multiple times too. So if you want this lacing edge to be thicker, then you can go around a couple times. You could go around with multiple colors if you wanted to. 
And I'm going to show you how to do it with a fuzzy stick on the next one as well. Again, you could have also used scissors to punch your little holes if you didn't have a hole punch. Um, or you could always use a sewing needle as well. Um, these little sewing needles uh, come in the arts and crafts library also. Um, so you have to put a little bit of pressure to create a hole, but you could definitely use a sewing needle as well if you um, are having trouble with a hole punch or the hole punch or you don't have one handy. All right, so you can see now it's got this little stitch slip all the way around. And we can go around a couple of times if you if we want to here. And that will create a little bit of a thicker laced edge. So I'm going to do the exact same thing all the way around. You could also switch and do two different colors, like I said, as well. So you can kind of mix and match all different options. And sometimes it takes a second if the edge of your thread gets a little um, frayed, you can just take your fingers and kind of straighten it out. Or you can always trim the edge of your thread also, and that'll make it a little bit of a sharper edge that will be easier to push through your hole. When you get to the end, we're going to tie another knot just like we did to start. So if you already are done, then go ahead and tie another knot wherever you want to end. I'm going to end it back where I started. And if you run out of thread partially through, just tie it off where, at whatever knot, whatever circle you end at, create a little knot, and then just tie another piece on. And sometimes those little tied edges can be really cute too, so you could always loop it around that way as well if you wanted to, or um, you can go zigzag instead of this little stitch shape as well. I'm gonna show you guys a couple different options. And this sort of a stitching or lacing, uh, once you know how to do something like this, then you can do all sorts of fun little details. You could use a hole punch to um, even a whole letter or a word, then you could do a little stitched letter or make little fun shapes. These would be really cute on the front of a card. All right. I'm gonna finish up here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot. So to do that, I'm going to Trim this little edge off first. I'm gonna, coming from the back of my shape here, I'm going to bring my thread on top on the front and push it through again. So I'm holding it to create this little loop and then I'll pull my thread through. And we'll do that one more time. So I'm gonna take my thread, push it through the top I'm going to create a little loop here and then I'm going to push the tail of my thread through and pull that tight. And then I can cut off the edge. There you have your first little 
laced or stitched edge on your little shape. And then if you're just making one today and you already are moving on, you can definitely decorate these little faces any way you want. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do the same style, but with a fuzzy stick first, and then we'll go ahead and add some uh, cute little faces to these. So to do this with a fuzzy stick, we're gonna do basically the same thing. I'm going to push my fuzzy stick through the hole and then just go ahead and pull it up through the next hole. So I'm just gonna pull it all the way through. This obviously leaves a very different look than the thread does. Um, the fuzzy sticks are bendable, so you can definitely bend them into different shapes. And then take the other end. And I'm going to pull this to the back and twist the two ends together. And cut off any little extra. And get a very simple little laced look. You can do something like this too, and I'll show you guys how to do this little version. Again, we're going to decorate those with little faces, um, but go through all the different lacing options. You can lace and then decorate in the faces. You can make it any way you want. And I'm just happen to be cutting these all into little rounded shapes, but you could definitely do like a triangle or a square as well. Definitely lots of options. And then I'm going to just punch some holes around the edges again. I don't know about you guys, but there's something very fun about using a hole punch and very satisfying little noise that they make and create all sorts of fun little patterns. So you could make, make a pattern with the hole punches itself if you wanted to. All right, so to do sort of a zigzag version rather than the stitched edge, um, but to lace all the way across and to cover this, we are going to do something pretty similar. I'm going to take a couple feet of my embroidery thread and cut this off. And we're going to tie it on to our shape just like we did the first one. I'm just going right through a hole and then tying a little double knot. And then from here, you can go across from a diagonal and pick any hole further away from where you started. So I'm going totally with no pattern in mind. I'm just picking a hole. So wherever side I'm at, I'm going to pick a hole either at the bottom, the top, or the side. And go back and forth to create this little zigzag pattern. And you can go as many different angles as you want to. And I'm gonna tie this one off here. So to do that from the bottom, I'm gonna loop my, yarn, my thread around to the top. pull it through, create that little loop, and then pull my thread through the loop and pull tight. I'm gonna do that one more time.
you can now add some more color. So I'm gonna to switch to another color from here. So I've got a few different little zigzags going on, but I still have a lot of empty space on that. So I'm going to add on some more thread, take a little bit of yellow here and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna follow the exact same pattern that I made with the green thread. I'm going to do different positions of the thread to cover more space of my shape. So I'm gonna start in a different spot. Again, tying a little double knot here. I'm gonna cut off that extra bit. And then you can do the same thing. So I'm gonna go across and then go down. I'm going to go into some of the same holes that the green thread is, but then I'm not going to follow the exact same line. So from here, I'm going to now zigzag over to a different side to create a new little line. And you can use as many colors or as many strings as you want. Uh, you could do a couple at once if you wanted to, to make it really thick. You could definitely do the same style with fuzzy sticks also. Um, you might need a, quite a few fuzzy sticks, but you could definitely do them going zigzag and crossing over one another. Um, it would be a really thick design, but it'd be really fun too. Right. So once you have a little abstract and funky shape here, then I'm going to go ahead and tie this off again. Trim the edge of my thread, getting a little frayed there. As you pull through, create that little loop tuck your tail in and then pull it tight. Just one to go through to get our double knot in there. off any extra. There you have three different styles, whether you're lacing or using a fun uh, abstract pattern instead or using fuzzy sticks. You can create all sorts of little fun shapes and cute little borders. And then from there, we're going to turn these into our new little buddies by making adorable faces for them. So you could also make these into cute notes if you didn't want to. Um, make a face on here. You could always write a cute message, give this as a gift, a little note, um, maybe turn it into a necklace. You could tie, wear this as a little medallion if you wanted to instead. So you could do lots of fun things with these instead as well, but I'm always down to make some fun little friends. So our next step is to add some cute little googly eyes. And I like to make them all little, little fun. Maybe they're little amoebas or little monsters. So you can use a glue dot or you can use um, white glue. Either will work. So I'm going to take a big googly eye here and just put one glue dot on the back and then stick a little eye right in the middle. So that one I'm just going to give him one giant eyeball. And then we can add in a fun little mouth. I'm going to use some black felt here. And I'm just going to freehand cut a little U shape to make a little smile. Okay. 
And then I'll stick a, another glue dot or two on the back of this. And there you have your first little lace friend, sort of a little monster, um, a little bug. And then we can add all sorts of different details to all of these. So I'm gonna add some more googly eyes to this next one. And I'm just going to put my googly eyes right on top over my lace detail. And then maybe this one will add a, what do we think, a fuzzy stick little mouse. I'm going to cut a little piece of my fuzzy stick. So I'm just going to cut off about an inch and then I'm going to bend this into a little smile. Just kind of bend it into a little U shape. And I'm going to put a little glue dot on either end, either side here. And then we'll stick that right on top. We can add other little details too. I have some pink felt here. Maybe you want to add some cute little cheeks. So I'm gonna little rosy cheeks. I'm gonna cut little cute circles out. And you can also draw a face on. Um, I always gravitate toward using different materials and finding some fun little things to turn into a face. You could use little beads or sequins for eyes. Um, but yeah, you can totally draw your own face or paint it on too, which would be really cute. You could do exaggerated features still with like big eyes or eyelashes and draw those on and be adorable. Okay, so I cut a couple little tiny pink circles here, and then I'm just going to put a little blue dot on each. I'm going to put them on either side for cute little rosy cheeks. All right, so for this next one, uh, I know a couple of you mentioned that maybe don't have. Um, googly eyes. So you could always cut out some little eyes too. So I'm using a little scrap piece of paper here. I'm going to cut two. Little shapes. And you can make your eyes any shape that you want. Sometimes I like to think of like when you make maybe carve a pumpkin or make a Halloween jack-o-lantern. Uh, you can have triangle eyes or different things, but you can use those shapes for all different types of little creatures. So you could do all different types of faces if you want to. And then go ahead and cut out a little mouth using some felt. And then again, using our glue dots here. And paste these on. You can use liquid glue as well. Um, that'll work great for like the googly eyes um, or paper. It'll take a little longer for your felt to dry. It'll definitely stick. But just once you use, put a little drop or two, um, just leave your little friends to dry until for I would say quite a little while. Look how we go from a funny little shape to all of a sudden quite a happy little friend, if I do say so myself. You could add all sorts of other details too. So if you wanted to, maybe this little one, let me give it a little green mustache. I'm gonna take a little fuzzy stick. I'm gonna bend it into a little mustache shape. We'll add that on. So using again our little blue dots here. So you can just think of whatever you want. Maybe you want to add 
some hair or cut out a whole little body for these. A little mustache now. And there you have all of your new little buddies. You hopefully either practiced a couple skills with cutting and with lacing and stitching today, or maybe you learned a new one. Um, and I had so much fun crafting with you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed making some cute little friends with me. We are going to be back crafting with you again um, at the end of the month. And we are going to be gearing up for Valentine's Day, one of my favorite holidays, with these adorable collage hearts. So we're going to make these that are three-dimensional and use a ton of different cute uh, materials from the Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. So thanks again for crafting with us and have a great day. Bye, guys.